organization of human life, its systems of communication and systems of control are extended more and more and more in just the same way, for example, that by assimilating the minerals out of the soil and the rays out of the sunlight, a plant like a fern grows and grows and grows and extends its form. And in this way, its organization prevails. Now then, you see, if you take this task of what we call the conquest of nature, the task of making order victorious over chaos or randomness, if you take this seriously, you will look upon it as warfare. And you will firmly believe that the most urgent thing that there possibly can be is to make order prevail over randomness, to make good prevail over evil, to make life prevail over death. And we find that when we are in a contest of this time, a serious warfare game, and we take it seriously, we are involved in it in a very deep, bitter sense.
identifying ourselves. After all, when you're looking at the white figure in that illustration, which is the cup, you, as it were, identify with the cup. When you look at the two faces, you identify with the profile. So in the same way, when we experience the world around us, we identify with the subject, the knower. We don't identify with what we see. But as a matter of fact, if there is nothing seen, there is no experience of the seer. If there is no seer, there is no experience of anything to see. They both go together in the same way as the black and white. And this idea that yes and no, black and white, inside of a class, say we draw a square, is represented fundamentally the idea of class. negative principle like two fishes constantly circulating going round and round and round and round in the alternations of life. 